Right, so in today's video, I'm gonna explain exactly how I leveled the clay soil in my back garden. This video is part of my garden renovation series. So if you'd like to watch any of the previous parts to look at how I built the wall, how I installed a French drain, how I laid the patio, you can go into the description below, you'll see some links to the different videos, or you can head over to my channel and check them out there. And if you enjoy them, feel free to subscribe to follow along. Now, I wasn't expecting to post another video until I was laying the topsoil and putting the seed down in the garden and really starting the turf, you know, with us getting into early spring now. However, after digging the trench for the French drain, I realised that with all the rain that we had, all that clay that I dug up and left in front of the French drain had become like one mass in of itself and I knew I needed to remove it before putting the topsoil down or else it would just be far too high at the top of the garden. Now I started off by making these small little pegs and the idea was is that I was going to knock these pegs into the ground and use a plank of wood with a spirit level to just sort of get a rough idea of how level the garden was. Now, I use this technique when I laid the patio to sort of set the level for how uh, steep wanted the fall to be so rain would run off and so on. So I thought it worked the exact same in the garden. And if you want to check that video out, uh, the link will be on the screen now. Now, when I started putting the pegs in at the front, I realised quite quick that across the front of the garden, it was pretty much uh, level. And other than the odd inconsistency, it wasn't too bad. The real problems came when I started to look at the level going from the front of the garden to the back of the garden. Now I am after a fall so that the rain can run off and it doesn't just sit stagnant on the lawn. However, the very front part of the wall where the clay was was just far too high. Now there's a mixture of clay and sand and all sorts in there from when we'd originally split the lawn into two different sections. So basically what I did was I took a mattock and I just started chipping away at the clay at the back of the garden. Now I soon realised that as I was chipping away, it was coming off in massive clumps and it seemed that that fresh clay that had been placed on there last week hadn't really had time to fully adhere to the clay below. So it was peeling off in massive chunks in certain parts, which to be honest made digging it up much more easy than I thought it was originally going to be. It's almost deceiving how much clay comes up even when you're just skimming off the surface trying to take the level down slightly. So what I did with the excess clay was just dumped it on one side of the garden. Now this area of the garden isn't going to be seeded or anything. What I'm going to do is probably early into the summer I'm either going to lay a patio there or I'm going to stone it and use it as some sort of barbecue station. So for now it just looks like that mound of um, dinosaur poo from Jurassic Park, uh, but I'm going to leave it there for the time being and whenever I can get round to ordering a skip, I'll just get shut of it then. So as you can see now, it's uh, pretty much flat all the way across. Now there are some slight imperfections here and there, but I think once we get the topsoil down and we pad it down, it'll be as flat as it can possibly be. Um, and obviously over the next few years as well, I can start leveling it with um, topsoil and uh, sand and things to get it really, really smooth. Now, you can see, I've got a big plank of wood that I've been using as I've been going just to check the level. And like you see there, there are some imperfections below, but for the most part, going across, front at the back, pretty much level, and um, going down the side here, if I just move this piece of wood, you can see that going this way along the garden, we've got a slight, and I mean it's only a slight incline going towards the back, so it's sloping downwards, so garden is level, ready for top soil. So if you found this video useful or you're just interested in following along with the renovation, feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching.